So after Akane Yamaguchi's victory in that first semi-final, we turn our attention to mixed doubles. And it's the number four seeds, Wang Ilu and Huang Dongping, up against a pair from Denmark who are only playing in their third tournament together, Matthias Christiansen and Christina Pedersen. Christina Pedersen has been in the final of this event three times. Well, if we look at the Super Series standings at the moment, the top five have all won a Super Series tournament this year, winning nine of the previous ten Super Series titles. The only other winners, apart from the top five this year, 2017, is the number eight pair, Tang Chun Man and Si Yun Siet. And I can tell you, they are on court right now in their semi-final. So, as far as the draw is concerned, uh, Tang Chung Man and Si Yun Sia uh, came through an absolute thriller yesterday against Jiang Nan, the five-time finest and three-time winner of the mixed doubles title here, playing with a brand new partner. They were 14-20 down in that deciding game, saved six match points and uh, closed out the match on a run of eight straight points. Well, unfortunately, the draw's gone, so <laughs> I can't tell you anything more about the draw. Two seeds from uh, three different nations, two Chinese pairs in semi-finals. So the players already on court, the number four seeds against the unseeded pair from Denmark, Matthias Christiansen so and Christina Pedersen. Gerald Alsonon from Canada Black. are on par for this one. Service, one, one will serve. And of course with the Danes Which playing in only well. their third ever tournament Thank together, you. not surprising, this is the first meeting between the two pairs. What a terrific win yesterday for the Danes who beat the defending champions and in fact two-time winners of this event reigning world and olympic champions Tontoi Ahmad and Liliana Nasir so that just confirming what I've already told you this is the first meeting between the two pairs but uh, the Danes did reach the semi-final of their last super series tournament the French that was only their second tournament together now the Christina Pedersen has been in three finals I was telling you 2011 2013 2015 every two years does that mean she's due for another final this year if you believe in patterns of course it's nothing to do with patterns whatsoever but for Matthias Christiansen this is a wonderful opportunity for him in this new partnership. Christina Peterson, of course, won uh, most of her titles in mixed doubles with Joachim Fischer, and that's the man who she reached the three finals here with. So I was telling you that uh, they beat the reigning world and Olympic champions yesterday, the number two seeds, defending champions and two-time winners, coming from a game down. Uh, but uh, they also went to three games in their first round, which was against the qualifiers, uh, Ranki Reddy and Bonapa. So to Huang Dongping, she is 22 years of age. She was in the final of the women's doubles last year with Lee Hin Wei. Mixed doubles, a year ago she played with Liu Cheng. That was their one and only tournament together. But now she's a regular with this man, Wang Yilu, turned 23 10 days ago. And they have been in two Super Series tournament finals this year. In fact, two, in two weeks, they reached the final of Korea in Seoul and then a week later won their maiden Super Series title, the Japan Open. So as far as they're concerned, all of their matches Ready in play, two straight ladies, games. Quarter-final against judge. the number seven seed, Su Seong Jae. And the left-hander and Kim Ha Na. That was the longest match they've had so far, and that was 44 minutes. 
So they've looked in pretty good form throughout the tournament. Also won the China Masters Grand Prix Gold this year. So this Chinese combination, two titles this year from three finals. But only two of those finals at Super Series level. Well, Christina Pedersen today contesting her fifth semi-final at the China Open. Not only the three previous mixed doubles where she actually went on to reach the final, but last year she was in the women's doubles semi-final with Camilla Yule. And who did they lose to? Well, one of the play players across the net right now, Huang Dongping, playing Ladies and gentlemen. Li Hui. On my right, Wan Dongping, Wan Yiliu, China. And on my left, Christina Pedersen, Matthias Christiansen, Denmark. Wang Dongping to serve to Matthias Christiansen. Love all. Play. So the number four seeds from China getting this semi-final underway. Well judged, I'm guessing, Steen, that the One Danish coaching team are very, very satisfied with the start that this new Danish pair have made to their careers. Yeah, they should be. They should be two semi-finals so far, and maybe there's more in it today. We don't know yet, but uh, two semi-finals is... Uh, it's important for the self-confidence. It's so much uh, easier to go back home working uh, when when you have some positive uh, experiences. Ho Han Bin giving instruction there. Yes, and it's so difficult when you first form the partnership because they're not seeded. So, I mean, if you have a tough draw, as indeed they did at the Denmark Open, they had yeah. to play Chang Ning and Lee Hyun Wei in the very first round. So if you get a bad draw Three. like that and Look. you come up against these very experienced players, then yeah. it looks as if you're not doing well. Yeah. And you won't have that many positive um, experiences to feed off and emphasize and practice. One, three. It's a huge leap, isn't it, from the middle line, centre line of the court. He leapt and played that around the head smash. Service over. Four, one. Jakob on the left as we looked at them and Thomas Dango. One of the obvious things Five, that you notice one. with this Danish pair is that Matthias Christiansen is serving much, much better than uh, Joachim Fischer was uh, in the last couple of years. Service was also always a cause for concern. Was it the good version or the more shaky version that was arriving at a tournament? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh! 
three, five. Oh, that's a good smash. Oh, body Three, motion looked as yeah. if she was going to go either down Six, the middle or cross three. court. One of the things that might also work a little bit uh, in favour of the Danes here is uh, um, the fact that Camilla Rutsiul is uh, out injured at the order. moment. Uh, she was out injured in French. Got uh, done. Four, six. Uh, a tear in her knee uh, in Den during the Denmark Open, and it's a different injury that keeps her from playing this tournament. It's a little tear in, in uh, her left thigh, but that means that Christina Pedersen is able to focus solely on mixed doubles in these two tournaments, and perhaps also giving mixed doubles a bit more focus in, in practice, which yeah. uh, definitely helps uh, a new um, pairing. That. Um, can focus solely on Five, six. <laughs> oh, it's Olympic silver medalist in women's doubles, Olympic bronze medalist in mixed doubles. Two different Olympics. <laughs> Play by Wang Yi Lu there, in my opinion. He, it was so easy to to uh, sort of get confused and not really knowing how to proceed after his attack was neutralized uh, a couple of times by the Danes, but um, just switched it uh, around to the other side and kept his patience. That's um, that's good play by the Chinese pair. Firepower is similar to Joachim Fischer, the firepower of uh, Matthias Christiansen. Got a very good attack. Satisfied one dumping. Oh. Well, she actually tacked her bracket on the umpire's knee. I'm not sure that's terribly appropriate. Nine. I'm sure it six. isn't. Mm. I don't think the players are supposed to have any physical contact with either of the, or any of the court officials during the match. Service over. Seven, nine. That's a lovely drop shot. Yep. Eight, nine.
Court will need to be mopped after Christina Pedersen putting a hand down on court. Ready. Ready to play. You've got to uh, live with the new status in many of her matches as being the oldest player on court. Her mixed doubles former partner was 37 or 38? He's got a birthday com 38. coming up yeah. 23rd of this month, isn't it? The only reason I remember that is because Christina was very funny when she was telling a story about she picked both of her women's doubles partner and her mixed doubles over. partner because they shared a birthday yeah. and she'd remember the birthday cards. <laughs> <laughs> First ever player to win the doubles double at the Super Series finals, Christina Pedersen. And could today make her own little milestone by reaching her 70th career final. That's across not just Super Series, that's across all tournaments, which obviously include Olympics and European Championships. World Championships. World Championships. International Challenger events. GPG. Yeah. Impressive anyway. Very impressive. Oh! Yeah, that's, that's the muddle. That's, that's one of the situations. Yeah. That uh, we need to sort out. Nine, ten. It's just long. Ten. Ten, ten, ten all. Mm. Two errors, consecutive Nine, errors on return ten, of serves from the Danes. And they won't be terribly happy with that. Ladies can clearly see the back support there, can't you? Eleven, ten, play. That, that's the situation that the Danes have got to solve when Christina Pedersen is on the back court. What, what do you mean by that? Whether she smashes like that or whether yeah, she should... How, how can they get her to the front court? Uh, that, that's really important because uh, I think Matthias and Christina are clearly much, much better playing in the uh, normal mixed doubles position. Um, and I think... Yeah, if we compare Matthias and, and Joachim Fischer, one of the advantages of Joachim Fischer when he was in the covering the front court was that he was an old singles player. Mm. Well, uh, oh. used to play him in singles. Yeah. So his um, his movement backwards and coverage of the court was a bit better than uh, Matthias Christiansen. Matthias is, is very fast and very quick in his movement, but clearly better above the tape and that's his defensive movement. Oh, net court. That's well played. Yeah. So, for the Danes, it's, it's imperative to uh, 
to be in control of the rallies. And normally is for uh, for both pairs in, in a doubles discipline, but, but um, I think it's even more important for the Danes to um, to stay in control of the rallies. Christina Pedersen has played once uh, with Joachim Fischer against Huang Dong Ping and Wang Yilu in the Australian Open. Oh. The Danes lost that match in two straight games. So are you saying from that, or I'm interpreting from that, that, oh my goodness me, well, do well to even get that back. This, this then is is a good judge for the new pair to sort of see where they are. I think are. it is. I think it is. And, um, Ready to play. I have to say, I'm, I'm I'm reasonably impressed with the Chinese pairing, and I don't think that uh, Fisher and Pedersen would have. Um, in the long run, had the upper hand over them, so... Yeah, when they lost in the Australian Open, it was two straight games, wasn't it? Yeah. But, uh, I mean, this Chinese pair, I, I feel that they don't get the recognition that oh. they actually deserve, because you've had Liu Kai and Wang Yaxiong playing together. They currently world number twos. Cheng Shi Wei and Cheng Ching Cheng currently world number ones. Those spare pairs have been swapped around a bit. And Cheng Nan with different partners. Exactly. So this pair is sort of uh, not in everybody's minds, but they've, they've beaten uh, the Adcocks, they've beaten the world and Olympic champions, Ahmad and Nasir, they've beaten the other top Indonesian pair, Jordan and Susanto. They've even beaten Cheng Shi Wei and Cheng Ching Cheng. Yeah. So, you know, they've beaten most of the top pairs, but we don't we don't automatically think of them, but we should I think of, so. of one of the best pairs in the world. <laughs> yeah. Good well, rally. Sixteen fourteen. I was speculating a little bit yesterday about as to what all these switches in partnerships uh, meant and so on. And I got a little bit of help from the social media brain who had come across an interview with Jiang Jun, the uh, head doubles coach, and he said that he wanted <coughs> he wanted at least 80% of his players focusing on only one discipline, um, according to an interview that he'd been given. All right. That, that's very interesting. Oh yes, well played. I would expect that it would be difficult to put a certain number on it that you would have to sort of uh, judge the player staff and see who can actually manage to play two categories and mm. and who um, will benefit from playing only one. Yeah, my immediate thought turns to Cheng Ching Cheng who until that, uh, two weeks ago was world number one in both women's that, that doubles and mixed doubles. I'm not sure I would have kept her in the women's doubles. I think I maybe yeah. would have kept her in the mixed doubles. So it's fascinating, very interesting times. And she was one of the players specifically mentioned that she was to focus on the um, 17, uh, 15. women's doubles and Jiang Si Wei focused on the mixed solely. Just away. Ready to play. Ready to play. Well, it's the crucial stage of this game. <laughs> oh, behind the back. Oh, and then a net cord from Wang Dong Ping. 16, 17. Behind the back from Christina Pedersen. 
Look at that. Look how quickly uh, Matthias is on his way to the net, but impossible to do something for that shot from Huang Dongping. Excellent. Excellent work by the Danes. And again, a comparison between Matthias Christiansen and Joachim Fischer. Matthias, a much more natural net player, um, so he doesn't need that much of a uh, an angle to to kill it as Joachim would have needed. Yeah, good pressure. 1916. Am I sensing that you feel they've got the potential to achieve everything and maybe even more that Joachim and Christina achieved? It's that, that's, a, that's a little premature in my yeah. opinion to say that because um, all the other pairs, they'll be uh, putting up video cameras now and, and yes. looking as to how, how can, what can we do here. There's uh, a little change, like the same nations will do against Zhang Shiwei and Huang Ya Chung. Yeah. Well, they've done extraordinarily well so far in this match. They've themselves four game point opportunities. Oh, he's run off, get a new racket. Crikey. And they won yeah. the rally. Would you believe it? Well, Christina Pedersen, that was extraordinary because she realized her partner had run off. She played the drop shot. And then came in and played the net shot big high lift to give her and her partner as much time as possible to regroup and it worked that's incredible 21 16 opening game to the danes det <laughs> Twenty seconds. Ready to play. So the umpire calls the players back onto court. Steve, what was the advice there, and what was the discussion? It was very much a two-way thing, wasn't it, with the Danes? Yeah, it was mostly reinforcements of thing that things that had worked well in uh, in the first game. Um, very, very confident the Danes that um, they have the uh, right tactical read on the Chinese pair and. Um, feels that they have a lot of trouble. Um, Second game. 
and training the Danish defense. Not that they want to play defensively at all, on the contrary, but they feel that the Chinese pair is going 100% uh, to for the attack and is going to play the front call a lot, and the Danes are going to overcover that. Totally agree uh, on their analysis. Uh, they've got the Chinese pair. They've got to win the attack, and that means that Huang Dongping has got to beat Christina Pedersen at the net, or get her away from the net. Service over. Two, one. Now this is what they need to sort out. You were talking about yeah. in the opening game. Well yeah. Played. Yeah. Over. Well played. And that, that's um, that's where the weak uh, point is right now for the Danes. See him, but Christina Pedersen is just removing a bit of wildlife from the court. An angle. Fantastic rally by Matthias Christiansen. Uh, started out in mid court area. There's actually a challenge here. Oh no, that was clearly in, wasn't it? I must admit, I didn't really pay attention. To <laughs> here we go. Out? No. no. Clearly in. I think. Challenge His partner was probably between him and One the shuttle remaining. landing, and therefore he didn't really see it. Service over. Three, two. Play. Good disguise from Wang Lu. Oh. Mm, yeah. Just lost his balance. Rally, it was the Four, turn of Wangi Lu to lose his balance. Sat down on the floor. Oh. 
So the serve is short. Service over. Four. That's all. the second service error from the Danes. You can see the shuttle. I think Wang Dongping is blocking his sight. Oh, good return. Oh. Corbin! Corbin! Five, four. That was the one that actually did the damage. That's hold and flick deep into the forehand corner on his backhand side. I'm seeing exactly what you've been talking about, Thurstein, with his ability to kill from the net. I mean, that backhand kill was superb. The backhand kill, the touch on the um, uh, mid-court area. Shots there. Mistake on that Sorry. one, but more Five. native double oh. player instead of Joachim Fischer, who was um, transformed men's singles player. Mm. So, advantages in different areas. Coaching bench happy with that rally. And Christina, can you show him the other one right there, please? Closer. There, oh. yes, thank you. Matthias Christiansen has had two very good former mixed doubles partnerships with. Nina Greyback. They were bronze medalists at the European Championships last year. And in recent times, Sara Tuthsen reached number 15 in the world. Because it's not completely new to the mixed doubles, it's just completely new to this partnership. Yeah. Seven, five. Defensive shot from Six, Christiansen seven. off his right hip. Played to the mid-court area. That one, that allowed his partner to go forward. Super shot. Change shuttle. I felt that he became a little bit too patient here. Wang Yi Lu. It's a fine balance between yeah. being patient and also sort of um, uh, claiming some respect from the opponents that if you don't respect the uh, power attack then you're going to have trouble creating uh, your own lock on the Seven. front court mm. oh. yeah.
What a great serve. And I think the body language, we're not actually seeing it at the moment, but the body language of Huang Dong Ping is of concern to the home fans. They're frustrated, the Chinese yeah. pair. Nine, seven. Four straight points. And ready. <laughs> Service over. Eight, nine. Well, that's a third service error for the Danes now. Yeah, Somebody is using a flashlight. Very distracting and disturbing for the players. Oh, my goodness me. Well, that's the first now <laughs> service error for the over. Chinese pair. <laughs> and I was eight. just sitting wondering why haven't they flicked a bit more mm. to Christina Pedersen, but maybe that's why, because the flick is not that um, reliable. There, the Danes, they were both backing off to the same side. There. Fresh topography is not allowed during the game. Thank you for the cooperation. Fresh photography is not allowed during the game. Thank you for the cooperation. There's only one point in it at the mid-game interval of the first game. The advantage was with this Chinese pair, but they failed to convert in the end. Good serve. gone long. So exactly the same score line at the mid-game interval here in the second as we had in the first. The one point advantage for the number four seeds from China. <coughs> Eleven, ten, play.
Yeah, they're just wanting to keep her at the back, aren't they? Yeah. Good water. Yeah. It doesn't really seem they have a clear plan for how they want to sort of capitalize by switching uh, around the Danish pairing. Yeah, because it's no good just keeping her there and lifting to her, but how are you actually going to win the rally? Exactly. Very alert there by Christina Pedersen. 12, 11. thing she can't afford to do Pettis and she can't afford to be uh, pressured to make errors there got to be patient got to work on different openings to sort of activate her partner mm, it's a good return service over 13 all Matthias Christiansen. 14, the Danes are mostly winning the service situation, in my opinion. I think if the Chinese don't come up with something else there, they'll be in dire straits. <laughs> Oh, good flick serve. Great flick serve. Well, Kwang Dong Ping appealing to the service judge. No, she doesn't like it. Well, what is she saying? It was a duck. It was a two forward movement. No, no way. Oh, not the best of low serves. Service over. 14. Oh, 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 Did he actually break his racket there? I didn't see. I'm not sure. But he's certainly taken a new racket. Yep. Matthias Christiansen. And he doesn't like the hey, shuffle either. He's saying the shuffle's wobbling. I, I didn't see the difference. Play. I no play. Good variation, wasn't it? Yeah, and again, Wang Yilu injects pace into these um, flat game rallies, and, and Matthias just blocks them and, and gets the advantage.
That's sweet. Yeah. yeah. I'm seeing it more and more, what you've been talking 17. about, Steve. Never since you talked about those little half-court control shots, that lovely touch and that awareness of where the gaps are. Yeah. Quick one, gentlemen. Lady, quickly. Back and on. The Chinese are perhaps more explosive movers and more speedy mm. than the Danes, but they're not gonna, it's, they're not gonna try and, and race them for anything. They're no. gonna try and play them for the match. Six of the last seven points. Twelve thirteen down. Chunga's way there a bit. 15-18. This is a very important serve for Wang Yi Lu. Turn from 19, Christina Pedersen. Two points away for Pedersen. A fourth final here at the China Open. Oh, it's fault call. Not pointing 19, in a downward direction, says the service judge, Weyana. Yeah. I mean, we couldn't see it from where we're sitting, but that's what you Here fear. Here we go. No. Oh, the call is the call. Goodness, that was well taken. It's a good rally. That's gone wide. Back to within a point. 19. That take off the top of the tape from Wang Dongping. Put the Danes under pressure. So 18 19. Long. They're back level. Ready? 
Well, of course, for Kirsty Hansen, this is huge because he's never been in a Super Series tournament final before. Yeah, maybe he's started to think a little bit about yeah. it, or maybe it's just in the back of his mind. Ready? But, I mean, probably still take it anyway. Any day, one game up in 19 all yeah. for a Super Series final. Good chance. Flick. Yeah, you could just sense it, couldn't you? Well, I think Christina Pedersen did too. Mm, it was a good return, and it means that the Danes have a match point opportunity. nerves wasn't it yeah I think it was yeah Fantastic rally. Brilliant. Twenty-one. <laughs> yeah, don't celebrate too much too early. It is a second match point opportunity though for the Danes. Stanko looked like he was coming on court to play the next rally. <laughs> Determination there from Wang Tong Ping. at the front of the court. Good rally. It's a fantastic rally, both pairs. Unbelievable. This is terrific. Longest rally of the match, too. I don't believe it. Don't believe it! Yes. Terrific! Yeah, I thought it was the longest rally. 55 shots. There were so many good shots in yeah. that rally. So much great mixed doubles play. And at such a crucial time. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Because now, having just saved two match points, the number four seeds from China, Wang Yilu and Wang Tongping, have a game point opportunity to send this to a decider. And, and they've played remarkably well here in the last uh, period after they were trailing yes. uh, by was it four points. Yeah, 15, 19 now. Yeah. That's also important to be able to play your best when you mm. when you need it the most. Judgment. Yeah, this challenge from uh, Huang Dongping. Well, they've only got out. one challenge left, so it, yeah, that's clearly long. They won't have any challenges left now. <laughs> no the fans around us, a gasp of disappointment <laughs> when they saw the Hawkeye challenge on the giant screen in the arena. Flip. So 22 <laughs> all. So will it be third time lucky? For the Danes, a third match point opportunity. Oh, that's nice from Christina, just a little pat on the back, reassuring. Now, will he have the nerve to serve low? Yes, good serve too. What a rally. And the Danes have done it in only their third ever tournament together. They are through to their first ever final. And it's at a premier super series. Matthias Christiansen can hardly believe it. Well, for Christina Pedersen, it's her fourth final here. First in 2011, then in 2013, 15, and now in 17. Every other year in the final. Can she go one, one better than she managed to do three times with Joachim Fischer? Well, we'll find out tomorrow. 22. But what a remarkable start to this partnership by Christiansen and Pedersen. Saving a game points in that second game, winning on their third match point, and that's what it means uh, to Christina Pedersen. Yes, and the coach is happy too, and so they should be. Go on, partner, get up. We've got another match tomorrow. 21-16, 24-22 in a match uh, just three minutes shy of the hour mark.
号场地即将进行的是男子双打比赛，有请技术官员入场。So, disappointment for the home fans with that mixed doubles, but what an achievement by the Danes. Next up, we've got more home involvement because we've got the former world number ones, Li Chunhui and Liu Yu Chen, up against the current world number ones, uh, Marcus Fernaldi Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukamolio. As far as the Super Series standings are concerned, the top six pairs on that list have won a Super Series this year. In fact, the top six have won all ten previous Super Series played so far this year. And of course, Gideon and Sulcomolio, who we're about to watch, have been in six finals, winning four titles. And the Danes, Bo and Morgensen, they've also been in four finals. Uh, the opponents of the number one on the list in the match we're about to watch at the moment, uh, Li Junwei and uh, Liu Yu Chen, have been in three finals. So, really, the top six, they're absolutely outstanding this year. So, as far as the men's doubles draw is concerned, five different nations involved by quarter final stage two Chinese pairs, two Indonesian pairs, and two Danish pairs. We were down to three seeds by semi-finals, and of course we're showing both semi-finals this afternoon. Three different nations, two Indonesian pairs. It's the fourth time this year that we've had two Indonesian pairs at uh, uh, semi-final stage in the men's doubles. The last time was the Denmark Open, and the time before that, Singapore 